Hi and welcome to uh, another one of my videos. Uh, today's videos I'm doing basically because quite a few of the viewers are asking me how I've got my heli set up. So I'm going to run through the software of the H1 controller, uh, which basically then is how I've got my heli set up. Um, I'll just come down now and quickly come to here. I've got the uh, transmitter on the helicopters um, connected as it would be to fly what you have to do then is go onto the H1 um, website or the Flywing website and click on download and you would double click this blue bar which is going to download the software and it will go, or on mine it goes into downloads on my um, Explorer here you can see it flywing so I double click on here open this and this is the program you want to open you have to click on run it's quite quick at the moment on mine because I've actually downloaded this previously so obviously so um, what you have to do then is the USB cable that came with the helicopter plug it into your computer or laptop and then plug the other end so the C I think it is into your H1 controller so that's just plugged in now and what will happen now you see COM3 here this is only COM3 here because I'm in my port number 3 so it's COM3 and you will click on the USB symbol and you can see now it's downloading the data from the F1 controller this is fully set started now everything's gone into a dark black the orange is missed or gone off the screen and you'll see here your total flight time um, in this main page you have your tail gain which is 41 percent and your throttle control this is what i've got mine set up um factory is 75 percent but it came from the factory at 25 percent on the gay uh, tail gain but i've actually increased this up to uh, 41 percent this when they comes from the factory you'd have to go into the software originally and switch this on because normally this is off when you get the helicopter new you only have to do this one time but actually turning this to on then makes the invert, inverted uh, control live but you have to actually do that when the model's new this was the main um let me say question of one guy was the um how i set my voltage i've got mine set to uh 3.7 so at 3.7 when the cell reaches 3.7 volts uh the h1 controller takes over and brings the heli back and lands in home mode if you like you don't have to switch it into home mode it just takes full control and brings you back to home um at 3.7 i'm finding that um by the time the helicopter comes back to a flying obviously it depends how far you are away at the time but you could lose 0.2 so this could be 3.68 so 0.02 sorry um by the time the helicopter comes back lands and you do the battery check you could turn this up a little bit uh, i have tried it at 3.75 but what I found is I'm only using 50% of the capacity of the battery. So this is a, a good, at this point, I'm around about 15% left in the battery by using 3.7 volts. Um, obviously this has to be on uh, for this to work. So, but it does come from the factory on. So, you know, but they, the factory is set at 3.68, which I think was too low and it was, you know your potential of the longevity of your lipo is not good um because by the time it comes back you're more like 3.6 volts which is too low in my opinion so i hope you found this one useful uh, and those guys asking the questions if you need to ask further questions please do 
please contact me um, you can do this on the site or even by mail if you email to me um, that may be a little bit quicker or my response may be a little bit quicker um, I'm not looking on daily on my YouTube channel so um, but if you go to my YouTube channel um, obviously I can only show you here I'm not right sure if it works for you how you look um, but you can get my um, email address here in this way if you click on the about and come to here you can actually get my email address I'll just bring it up now and uh, it's there uh, and that'll be the quickest way for me to respond if you respond to that I'm looking on daily at me uh, or multiple times a day so okay thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video